Shout out to all my birthday people in the building. I see you. Let's go. It's so early. It's my party. It's Friday. Let's go. Go crazy! Ah, 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 go stupid! Ah! Yeah. I got in the Vanderbilt. Woo! Woo! Yeah. Yay! And you get to go to the, what is that? Mosaic? Mosaic. Okay. So, so that'll be fun. That's great. Woo! Yay! My address, my address is on that letter. Two, 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 two. Uh -huh. It doesn't make a difference. And y'all gonna have what? A party I heard? A black and gold party? Yeah. This way it started. Yay. Ah, Vanderbilt. 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 <laughs> in Tennessee. Look, there go right there. You and Dolly don't. Oh. <laughs> See, I bought, the, I I bought that. I bought that. Two years ago. Oh, yeah. I love it. Uh. All right, Doc, can you give us a rundown of what just happened? <sighs> Just got into William and Murray. Tyler just got his email that um that he got into William and Murray. Uh, William and Murray gave him the full full what ride. Else? The what is the Monroe Scholarship? The William and Murray Scholarship. Yeah. Equal to the full cost of in-state tuition and fees for up to eight semesters. Wait, where's the three thousand dollar research stipend? Yep. Also. Yep. Um. All right. Bye. <laughs> okay. Um. So I just got into the University of Kentucky. I don't have. He else just to decided say. to check his email. Yeah. And we were just talking about Kentucky, and I mean, they never sent like an email that said like your status was updated or anything. So like, <laughs> I guess I did just randomly check it. Them to the FAFSA. So. All right. Well, that's cool. Well, he got accepted, so. Back from um, Nashville, Tennessee, from Vanderbilt, coming, going home from Mosaic, and while I was there, I got an email from Cornell saying that they would admit me, and they invited me. They invited me to like this diversity hosting thing, well, and I also got accepted to Fordham University while I was there. So yeah, congratulations! Oh, kind of messes the video, kind of messes the video up because they keep on sending emails, but. <laughs> and it's your first Ivy. So, yes. So first Ivy acceptance. Congratulations. I hope there's a lot more. A lot more to come. <laughs> Bye. So I just got the email that UVA decisions came out a few minutes ago. So I'm gonna go ahead and check that now. All right. So this is the portal, or whatever. And all right, review status update. Okay, there you go. So yeah. I see a bunch of flags, so I guess that means I'm in. On behalf of the entire University of Virginia community, we're excited to offer you admissions.
to the College of Arts and Sciences as a part of I, our bin, bicentennial class of 2023. Yep. That's bougie. Yay! Yeah. Not as excited as some yeah, of the other I wish I, I wish I didn't get into like Vandy and Cornell first. Cause right. This would be more exciting. Yeah. But I mean, I'm not disappointed, but... Hey, we're in. There we go. Alright, so today is March 25th, and while I was in biology class today, I got an email from University of North Carolina, and the email invited me to their admitted students day on March 30th and April 14th, I think. So I think I got into UNC, but the weird thing is that they didn't, like, release official, um, decisions today. Oh, that guy's going fast. Yeah, they didn't release official decisions today, so I thought that was kind of weird. So I don't know if it's a glitch or something. <laughs> okay, so I've gotten home, and Savannah is playing with her toy, and... I decided to check my My Carolina portal and it says that there's a status update on March 22nd. So this is like three days after. All right, I see congratulations. Ooh. Gives me great pleasure to welcome to the University of North Carolina Chapel, <laughs> Chapel Hill. All right, so there we go. A few days late, but I got into UNC. Woo! Congratulations. I like your right, environment, so I ain't got a problem. I like the, I like the um, UNC environment, so. There we go. Um, I'm not sure. Today is March 27th and Vanderbilt's decision just came out. And I mean, I know I got in, but I just want to see what it's like that. You are being on there. Tyler. That's kind of creative. Yeah, it's kind of cut my name off, but all right. Famous part of Vanderbilt. So that's the, that's the acceptance? Yeah. So is this where we're supposed to like jump up and down? Yeah. Yeah! Woo hoo 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 hoo! That's how I got in! That's how I got in! Woo! Come on. So yay! I'm recording right now. <laughs> Y'all ready? Get your, get your traps ready. Let's do this. Ah. Mm. This is too crazy. Somebody. Ah! <laughs> yeah! Watch your stuff. Watch your stuff. Yes, man. Yes. 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 That's, that's a great start. That's a good start. That's oh. a hey, hey, my friends from Brown. <laughs> yes. Hey. All right. Um, you. Got in Brown going for Columbia number two. Hmm. What to say? All right. <laughs> Your place in Columbia's class of 2020. Oh, okay. Uh, ooh, that one. Yeah. Ooh, that one hurt, don't it? Hey, that one hurt. We was rolling dice. All right. Okay. I thought we had some. We ain't one with it anyway. Yeah, they were strange. I really didn't. Can we get one of three? Yeah, that's what I just want one. Mm. What's that? Let me, I'm going to back up just there. Uh, All look, right, so look we... Courtney had to knock confidence down a little bit. Columbia. <laughs> Columbia, yeah. yeah. Columbia, the kind of yeah, hit a brother. <laughs> Anyway, uh, <laughs> yeah, we're riding high, won't we? Well, that's okay. Now, right. We got two to choose from three Vanderbilt, Cornell. Uh, nope. All right. I hope you will understand this decision to face the extraordinary talents. Yeah, we understand. Mm. All right, all right, all right. Yeah. Should I have to sit back again? <laughs> 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 uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let, let, me, let my heart get ready for this one. All right, this is this is our lifelong. We good to go. We good. We strong. Come on, let's roll. And, right. We strong. Oh, we, we. Uh, oh, another. You tell them, I'm their neighbor. 
Uh, Let me see though. Ah, another one. Another bad news. Bad news. That's uh, all right. We know. We know. All right. Oh, I know we know. I just want to make sure. Yeah. <laughs> 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 they were, so you want your they take it back. He wanted his little balloons and congrats. Congratulations. Um, okay, that's Cornell. So we we we, we already knew, but we still we want to see the letter. Okay. But oh, they didn't give you any little confetti and good stuff. Mm-hmm. Okay. Work on that. They were just like, yeah, uh, it's like a letter. So who All else right. you got on your list? Come on, let me jump up. <laughs> I'm just a, So on behalf of President Amy, I'm not reading that. I'm too excited. Uh, yes, so we got you, P. This was quick. That I don't, was quick and hey. Dang, we should have slowed it down. <laughs> that ride was over with quick. Yeah, right. that was that was yeah that was a quick ride, Tyler. <laughs> hey, man, we should have did these two so we don't. Hold on, hold on, y'all, hold on. Hold I on. back up. Hold on, <laughs> Why you Hold on, man. <laughs> <laughs> Remember all that confidence I had? Yeah, that's why I was. They like, killed my confidence. I was like, look, Dad, we got. We Tom, got things. I'm like, Lord, we on a downturn here. Hold on, y'all. That was her. That was her. We had like everybody you. take a breath. Let's just like I know I know what the stats. Okay, so these two could be possible at them. Like, we're, we're yeah, like I'm not out really there. like thinking I'm gonna get to Princeton and then well, we say at Princeton and. Harvard they're and right. Yale yeah, was the ones reach. that we didn't think we were gonna reach. Yeah, <coughs> those are like the reach time. I like to make up make up for Duke because I kind of felt like Duke was one that we was gonna get an opportunity with. They fight each other. All right, three, two, one. Ah, yeah. Very sorry to win. That's okay. We'll take what we got. Out of 32,000 applications for 1,300 places in the first year. We couldn't admit you. All right, all right. All right, okay. All, all right, right. Really? last one. Come on, boy. I need a drink of water. Yeah, I'm going to get, get some. Oh, oh, God. <laughs> well. No, we don't. We, hit, we, so got, a we got two. We got two, bro. We got two. <laughs> hit the button. All they can all do right. is say yes, no. Ten, nine. And no, it's fine. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Ah. Uh, and I was excited. Oh. oh, that's all right. Oh. Uh, oh. All in all, what you still got, Vanderbilt, yeah, Cornell, proud of Brown, and UPenn. Yes. You got four of the top 12, top 14. Yeah, definitely top 15. Top 15. Most. Four of the top 15 on the list. So, hey, you can't be mad at that. Yeah. You can't be, be proud mad. of it. Okay. So what are we waiting for now? Georgetown. All right. So now we've got Georgetown. So today's March 29th, day after Ivy Day, and Georgetown just came in. So I'm gonna open Georgetown. Uh. All right, it's pretty thick. They can't deny you with all that paper. Oh. All right. I see open house program, like, first thing I see, so. Hey, yay, gang, gang. I see an envelope to send something back, so. <laughs> you ain't gotta send no all denial right. back, so. It gives me great pleasure to inform you, so that's great, that the Committee Yay. of Unadmissions has admitted you to Georgetown University Class of 2023. There we go. <laughs> Another one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he admitted Crystal. There we go. Can you jump up and down? <laughs> All right. So, okay, hold on, Crystal. We got one more, Crystal, because um, Stanford came out. Got one more. Alright, so apparently Pacific time, Pacific time, not Eastern time, so. Three more hours. 4 p.m. Pacific time, I would know if I got into Stanford, but 
not at 4 p.m. Eastern time. <laughs> All right, guys, in the Georgetown. So, yay. Yay, yay. yay we'll take that. So. We'll take one more. Add one more to the list. So, free so Uzi. Let's see what we got Stanford. Stanford went the ones he kind of wanted to. I mean, want sunny California, like, that's definitely, like, pretty cool. Yeah, so, we'll see. We'll see. All right, so, Stanford just came out, like, 15 minutes ago. Not really... I mean, Stanford's cool and all, but I don't think anything's gonna change. And I also am not really confident in this one. This application, like, I kind of did last minute, so like, I kind of rushed it, so not really expecting much with this one. It'd be shocking. Yep, I am very sorry to let you know we were unable to offer you admission to Stanford. So, there we go. There we go. And Hey guys, so today is April 2nd, 2019. And I realized that I never really like did like a reflection or like a post Ivy Day um, talk or whatever. So I guess today I'm just gonna like talk about my college application process and stuff leading up to that. And I guess I'm gonna give like a few tips on like what I thought worked and what didn't work for me. So, so I guess first I'm gonna go back and like tell y'all why I wanted to go to college. So growing up, I had a brother named Marlon and he had cerebral palsy and he couldn't walk or talk. And he passed away my freshman year at the age of 20, sadly. So when I was growing up, I knew I wanted to like become a doctor. Like because of him, I wanted to make sure that I could help kids like him. And then I guess like at the end of fifth grade, I guess starting sixth grade, I realized that there were different kind of doctors. And I like got more serious about it and started like looking things up and I decided I wanted to become a neurologist. So that's why I'm going to college and that's like the overall overarching goal of like all this going to college and going to these top schools and stuff is so I become, can become a neurologist. Not that I can't become a neurologist from any school, but I know if I, if I want to become a neurologist, that's like no, like really notable, I guess, or like, I guess I want to have the best education in becoming a neurologist. So I'm a good one in the end. So that's why I'm probably into these colleges and stuff like that. So in eighth grade, I had a teacher named Miss Lysick and she attended Duke University. And she would like tell me about her experience at Duke and like how much she loved it and all. And I like really connected with it after that. And after that, I guess I kind of like went home and like looked up Duke and like started like Googling and all. And I realized that it was a really hard university to like get into. So from that point on forward, I like made sure that I did everything in my power to put myself in a situation where eventually I could get into Duke or like a school like Duke. So yeah. So anyways, fast forward to like 10th grade when everyone's starting to prep for the SAT or like starting to think about college and stuff like that. So I knew I wanted to go to like an Ivy League or like a top school or something like that. So I decided then that I was gonna apply to all the Ivy Leagues except for Dartmouth because I just wasn't really feeling Dartmouth and schools like Duke, Stanford, um, et cetera. I'm not really, I don't feel like listing them right now, but I can probably put it on the screen, but yeah. So I guess like reflecting on like my college application process, don't apply to just the schools that you wanna go to. Put, your, put yourself in a situation where like you have a lot of schools that you could be happy at and just apply to the schools that you feel like you could be happy at. Cause like I wanted to go to an Ivy League or like a top school. I said that Harvard, Princeton and Duke were the schools that I felt like I liked the most. And I didn't get into all three of those. So if I didn't apply to like U University of Pennsylvania, Cornell, and Brown, I wouldn't even be on that same like caliber of school. So make sure you don't limit yourself. You never know what school is gonna accept you and who's gonna reject you. And maybe your dream school might reject you. It might feel like you're not a good fit for their school. So if you don't get into their school, you'd have to have another school that hopefully is on the same caliber like academically or whatever trait that you wanted in the school. You should have a few schools that you feel like fit that trait. Maybe they're not the best at that trait. You should be able to be happy there. Okay, and my other tip would be to make sure you take the SAT seriously. I personally didn't take the SAT seriously at all. I can tell you I did not study for the SAT like at one time for more than maybe a week before the test. So like make sure that you take it serious because like my last SAT that I took, I jumped up like a hundred points and I probably would not be getting into these schools or like even getting the scholarship money that I am 
if I didn't do as well in the SAT as I did. I wouldn't worry about, this is like my opinion. I'm not sure this is the right thing to say, but like early decision and all that, I wouldn't worry about that. Make sure you get the highest score that you can get, whether it's the last SAT that you can take, like in order to apply for a regular decision in time or whatever. Just make sure you get the highest score you can. Don't worry about what everyone else is applying, ED and all that stuff. And then like, I know like, there's obviously like a financial part with that, but you gotta think of it from the scope that you're gonna be getting into schools that will get you jobs that make more than if you didn't take it again, or even more directly, you're gonna get scholarships because of your score. Like I got a, fr a full ride to William & Mary. I don't think I would have gotten that if I didn't take it one more time and gotten a better score. Okay, and this is for like the people that go to like public schools and all, cause I come from a public school and we don't focus on the SAT at all. Like we don't talk about it until, we don't talk about it until the end of 10th grade. Whereas like a lot of people that go to private schools and stuff, they've been prepping for it since probably like eighth grade and like had classes that are dedicated to like getting their SAT score up and stuff. So you have to like take it upon yourself if you go to a public school to like get the practice that you need and like make sure that you're prepping in the right way because you're going to be competing with these kids that have been prepping since eighth grade like you have to be on Khan Academy taking the daily activities quizzes and stuff and you got to be on Khan Academy taking the practice test often when your test date is coming up like you have to take it upon yourself because you don't have the same resources as the kids that you're competing against and then also find a community of people that are applying to the same school that you are I applied to Vanderbilt. There's this thing called the Cornelius Van Vanderbilt um, Scholarship. I didn't know what that was. And also at Duke, um, there's this thing called the Robinson Scholarship where both of them, I think they're both, I know the Cornelius Vanderbilt one is full tuition. Not really sure about the Duke one, but I know it's really cool. You get to go from UNC to Duke and like learning at both schools. But I didn't know about that. And there's like a bunch of group messages or even like the college confidential chats. I didn't know that College Confidential existed until after I applied to all my colleges. Like, I just found out about College Confidential maybe a month or two ago. So make sure you're on College Confidential getting information about scholarship deadlines and stuff like that. Because when you have a community of people that are all working towards the same goal, like, y'all share resources and stuff, even though y'all are competing with each other, a lot of people on College Confidential will give you some good advice, um, tips. They'll warn you about what deadlines are coming up for scholarships and stuff like that. Make sure you find a community of people that are applying to the same school as you, that are looking to do the same thing as you, stuff like that. Network. Network well. Yeah, so I think that's all I have to say. Thanks for watching this video. Um, like and subscribe, I guess. I think I'm gonna post like a video of my decision, maybe, if I get time. I'm, right now, I'm choosing between UPenn, Cornell, and Brown. On the third week of April, I'm going to go down to Brown on the 14th and the 15th. And then I'm going to stay at UPenn on the 16th and 17th. And then on the 18th, I am going to be at Cornell for like their Cornell days. I'm going to go to all the preview days, and I'm just going to pick which one I, feel, I felt the best at. I feel like I could vibe at the best. So, yeah. I'm kind of leaning towards UPenn right now, not going to lie, but... Who knows where I'm gonna end up? I don't. I don't even know where I'm gonna end up. So, yeah. But like a squeegee, we serve them packs in the net. We get them racks like Serena. Uh, yeah, the sun out, so my boys wanna trap today.